Namaste and welcome to the channel Roma Ma'am. Well, long time and uh, I'm back with uh, quite a few tips and quite a few videos which I think are going to be very very useful and helpful to many people who belong to this channel and community. Well, today I am talking about very commonly mispronounced words and this happens because many of us are not aware of uh, something which we call silent letters. Silent letters? I mean, sounds very strange. How can letters be silent? Well, in the English language, we do have certain letters which go silent or become quiet when we pronounce those words. They are spelled. When I say spelled, I mean those letters are included when you are spelling out the word as in written form, but they are not pronounced. They are uh, made to become silent. So today, uh, let us look at some of these very commonly mispronounced words which I have come across in my career as a teacher and as a coach and a trainer and uh, I have been uh, trying to you know tell people that look this is not the right pronunciation uh, trying to help them to understand why they need to keep certain letters silent well I will just share a few of my observations with all of you today uh, let me start with the first word yeah, we all are very familiar with this word and what would you or rather how would you pronounce this word? Well, the common answer is sword. Most people say sword. But well, uh, I would like to tell you that the letter W in this particular word is silent. So we do not say sword but we say sword. Yeah, it is sword. Aha! Uh -huh. Most of us, at least the housewives, know that this person is a regular visitor. Tap is broken, tap is leaking, some kind of problem with the uh, connection, the tap connection or the shower connection and we call this gentleman home. Well, he is none other than a plumber. No, it is plumber. So the B remains silent in this word and we say, you know, we, we are so used to stressing on, we called the plumber. But well, next time you call him, please say, I called the plumber and let the B remain silent. The next one, I am sure all of us have read all the lovely fairy tales and bedtime stories where you would have seen this image. Well, it is a castle and uh, I have heard people saying castle. Well, it's not castle, it's castle and we do not pronounce the letter T in this particular word. Yes, all of us are familiar with this because we do this exercise at home regularly of ironing the clothes. Well, it's not iron, it's iron. The R is quiet or it is made to become silent. The next one where we put lot of our stuff to be stored. Cupboard is what I have heard people saying. Cupboard. Cup. The P is stressed upon. Ironically, that is the letter which needs to be remain uh, silent. So, 
P is silent in cupboard. Good old times that we all have had when we went to school. So the letter H remains silent in the word school. Ah, so many people carrying this load and uh, really don't know how to get out of it. So what is that load? Debt, debt, well it's not debt, it is debt and as you can see the letter B becomes silent here, right? One more commonly mispronounced word. Uh, people say I want a recipe. I want a receipt or a recipe. Well, it is not so. You do not pronounce the letter P, but what you are going to say is receipt. So we get a receipt for any payment that we have made towards anything, food, purchasing, provisions, etc. So it is receipt. And one more, wrapper. People tend to say wrapper, w, wr, but well, the W remains silent and we pronounce this word as wrapper from the letter R. So it is wrapper. You write W, but you do not pronounce it. One more. I combed my hair. I combed. Well, it's not comb. It is comb. The B remains silent here. So those were some of the most commonly mispronounced words that I have come across. And uh, I'm sure many of you also would have come across such mispronounced words. Well, if you do have people, if you're a teacher, you may have students. If you're a parent, you may have children who, uh, you know, tend to make these mistakes, not knowingly, but unknowingly. And it is always uh, good to help them by you know, making them understand where they are going wrong and making them do the right thing. That is what I firmly believe as a teacher, as a parent, as a coach, as a mentor. I think I have been doing this with people across our country and uh, that is why I felt this was very necessary to share on this platform, in this channel. So do share the link given here if you wish to help somebody improve their pronunciation and understand what silent letters are, which letters remain silent in which words is what you will find uh, explained in detail in this course. So I will leave you here with this. Thank you very much. Stay safe and be at home as much as you can.